And of course, Kurt Nemo wrote about this article over the weekend. The Council on Foreign Relations has said, don't worry about Hillary Clinton's small arms treaty. Don't worry, Americans. This isn't really gun control. This is, it's about, it's about international trade. Don't worry. Nothing's going to happen. Well, look, you can see where they're going with all this, but the fact is maybe shocking to you. Aurora, Colorado already had complete gun control. They were one of the most hardcore Nazi gun control cities in the entire country. You couldn't have guns there. If you pulled out a gun in that theater, they would have arrested you too, even if you shot the killer. Maybe they would have some sympathy and drop the charges, but technically speaking, you couldn't have a concealed weapon in there. We all know what that policy leads to. It's victim disarmament, and unfortunately, 12 people were killed in that theater. Another uh, 58, total of 70 people were injured, shot, what have you. How could we prevent this tragedy? Obviously, even though we can spend billions and billions, you can't spend trillions and trillions on having body scanners at every last place in public. I mean, there's thousands and thousands of movie theater chains, how many shopping malls across the country. You couldn't really have security everywhere, and you can't take away all the guns because of that pesky Second Amendment. Well, Mike Adams actually has the solution. It's a bit of a riddle. See if you can figure it out. It's the answer, the low-cost solution to how they could have stopped this theater massacre shooter or anyone else shooting, and it requires no police. It costs the taxpayers no money. It requires no upfront paperwork. It protects innocent lives. It's deployed in as little as about five seconds. It works anywhere, everywhere. It deters violent crime. It makes bad guys flee immediately. It, uh, it's easy to learn. It functions at the local level. And it does not require control or intervention by the United Nations or any other entity. Have you guessed it? Oh, you're seeing footage of it. Here's another shooter, two shooters, I think, who went into this computer lab, this uh, hangout. I don't know exactly what it was. They were robbing people. Uh, it was a casino, actually, but it had a, a computer stations in there. Uh, oh, it's a guy with a concealed carry, a 71-year-old old man who stops these burglars, ends the crime. They run away. They're panicked. No, not a guy with a gun, not an armed senior citizen, not a citizen with a gun. We don't want to commit a crime here. Let's get out of here. Uh, could that be the solution? What if people were concealed carry in the theater? Could they have stopped this guy? I think it's a, a brilliant question. But YouTube, on the other hand, doesn't want you to see that video. They want you to see every violent video game in the world, every clip from every Hollywood movie you could find on YouTube, all kinds of violence. But you can't watch the video of the 71-year-old man who they basically blacked out of the media, barely reported on how he stopped a holdup of what, that must have been 50, 100 people in that room. He stopped them, ran those robbers away, and... Uh, uh, but you can't see that video if you're not 18 and logged on on their little identity center on Google-controlled YouTube. Yes, we have that story up at InfoWars.com. You can still watch the video. It's still there, but a video can't go viral when everyone who wants to watch it has to log in. It slows the video and basically kills it. That's the video you just saw. I don't know if we want to roll it again, but if you wanted to watch the video of how concealed carry could stop burglars, shooters, murderers in the in the progress of their crime, well, let's hope you're 18. Let's let's verify that it's okay for you to see this even though there's nothing graphic in the video. It just shows self-defense. It shows fighting back and not being a victim, whether you're in a casino or anywhere else in public. That's the only way to be protected in public. Police can't stop you. It'll take them a minimum of five to eight minutes if you're in the best cities in the country. If you're in Detroit, by the way, they won't show up for hours and hours. And in one case that was in the papers, more than 24 hours for murders. The police can't and won't save you. It doesn't matter if they duplicate, triplicate. It doesn't matter if they have 10 times, 100 times the cops. Cops can't protect you from this stuff. Only the people already there on the scene of the crime.